Jingle broom. Don't need no birthday candles, baby. Don't need no midnight star. Wow. Got everything that I need, baby, in the backseat of my car. Okay, so 1998, 99, you loved Hale Bop too. Nope, hated him. You did not. Yeah, you couldn't pay me to listen to music. Okay, so what was tonight? Did you just go to the concert for me? I think you needed cheering up. You're right. I did. And for almost three hours, I forgot that Rex blew off couples therapy to work on some stupid case. You ever seen this guy? Who's asking? Me. I don't see a badge. That's because I'm not a cop. You ever seen him? No. Try again. So when did you last see him? I never saw him. Don't put words in my mouth. You never saw him? No, but I worked nights. I just came on duty. Maybe one of the maids saw him. Uh, when do they go on duty? 6 a.m. What? We got vacancies, pal. Stay of the night. Rex promised he would do whatever it takes. But I could tell he didn't like this counseling idea. So thank God this case came along, huh? Shouldn't be dumping this on you. <laughs> no, it's cool. But at least I got to see my favorite band tonight on Stacy's dime. Which means Rex paid for it. Mm, I got the idea Kim paid. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Right? And besides that, the joke's on them. I mean, if they think throwing you and me together at a concert, like on a date, is gonna make you forget all about Rex, well... <laughs> I mean, how dumb is that? Pretty dumb. I, would... I have no idea where Jared is. Where are you? Talk to me. Natalie? Is John suspicious? John's always suspicious. Does he know you left town? He knows where everyone is except for my husband. Did anyone see Jared? Sorry. You know, I was so sure that this meant something. Why else would he keep it? I don't know. And you talk to everyone on the staff? Well, everybody on the night shift. The day shift doesn't come in until 6 a.m. Okay, so we'll stay. <laughs> Rex, we have to. Come on. This is the only lead we've got. Just tell me something. We find him. Then what? I don't know. What do you mean? I know you love him. And I'm not saying he's not a good person. Just say it. What if he did it? What if he killed two people? Are you really gonna go on the run with a guy like that? I'm not saying that I think Jared did this. Well, he didn't, okay? It's not who Jared is. Good! I hope you're right. I just don't want my sister disappearing on me. I'm kind of fond of her. So, if we find no, him- No, when, when, when we find him. You're gonna convince him to turn himself in. Those are my terms, Natty. We find Jared, we call John. John thinks that he's guilty. Okay, so you convince him he's wrong. You get Bo involved. And what if he can't fix it? And they pin those murders on Jared. That's 25 years to life. So you're going to spend the rest of your life on the run? I'm not losing him. So you're just going to say goodbye to your parents, Jessica, Bree, You can explain me. everything to them. Natty, the way technology is these days, you would have to leave the grid to disappear. And a life like that. I don't care. As long as Jared and I are together, I don't I don't care where I live. So since you uh, hated Hale Bob so much, you probably never heard Star Flight, the rock cantata? Mmm. Did they play that tonight? No. They pretty much stuck to the stuff that went platinum. They had so many hits. I had a stack of their CDs in my basement. And Rex and I would come home after school. That's enough about him. Okay. Starflight. Home a few bars. Go. Of a rock cantata? Um, <clears throat> there was an orchestra, a full choir. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. Okay. You are so going to eat that smirk. I'm going to play it for you. 